hello everyone i hope you're all well welcome back to another vlog i've just sat down with the tea raspberry leaf tea my i just had i've had a good old pick at my face and uh i kind of regret that now because i'm literally starting a new vlog with such a patchy face i've got a sore one coming up there and then one right there i'm having a bit of a breakout it's probably down to all the uh junk i've been consuming i must admit i've been eating not so great lately but never mind <laughs> so today is monday and i didn't go to work today because i had a midwife appointment and it was smack bang in the middle of the day so i've just kind of had a bit of a chill day really i this morning well, I had a really crap night's sleep again, um, and I think that's going to continue, you know. I don't think, I can't see my sleep getting any better during these last few weeks of pregnancy. I just find it so uncomfortable at the night time. When Harry went off to work this morning, I uh, jumped back into bed and I had a few more hours sleep, and I think that helped. But um, yeah, it's just my sleep's not been great. So I did that and then I had to get ready to head to my midwife appointment, which was all good. Baby girl is actually head down. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, she did say that, that she should stay in that position from now. Like a few times it did feel like she was head down, but I just wasn't sure. So yeah, obviously I'm really pleased about that. We, um, the heartbeat was all good. I think she said 144 beats per minute. And growing well, growing at the, the stage that she should be. And she also just went through like birth implants and stuff, which I wouldn't say I have. I don't actually have a birth plan. I'm pretty happy to go in there open-minded with what needs to be will be and you know i would like to try the water birth which i know that the um sweets that that i should be going into if all goes to plan has that it has the uh, the baths in it so i would like to try that but um i'm not really fussed on like a particular birth plan and they just go through like um vitamin k um for babies like when they're first born they need like an extra dose of that or something um and like how my placenta will come out and feeding so i'm not actually gonna breastfeed i'm just gonna formula feed i'm pretty set on that i just don't feel like breastfeeding is for me um but she did go through the colostrum thing which I'm quite happy like I don't mind giving it a go like I haven't had any leakiness as of yet but um she did obviously show me how to kind of like see if there's any there any colostrum there that I can start collecting but if it doesn't if it's not there and it's not working then I'm not gonna stress myself out about it and worry about collecting it so yeah she's given me the um like syringes and stuff and a little booklet which i will look through but i'm really not um not fussed at all about collecting it or breastfeeding or anything like that that's just my personal opinion so um yeah so we went through all of that and everything was good came back home oh i popped around to my parents for a little bit because they're actually going away this week um for a little while which i think my mum's a little bit nervous about or i think they're both a bit nervous about to be fair i think just being so close to like the end of pregnancy now i think they're a bit um probably kind of regret but they didn't know that i would be pregnant now obviously but yeah um but I think it'll all be fine. So I just catched up with them for a bit before they headed off. And 
Also, we had someone round today to measure up for our windows because we're actually getting all of our windows redone soon in the summer. The windows that we've currently got, they're just like really old, basically. So we're gonna get the same style windows. We've got like, well, actually, no, they're not, they're not the same on both sides. Like on the front, we've got Georgian windows and on the back, they're plain. So I want Georgian all around and just fresh windows because like the sills are really manky from where they're just really old. And we've got a sliding door there uh, by our dining table, but we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna have French doors put in, which I think will look much better and they'll be Georgian. And yeah, it will look all matchy matchy and much fresher and just nicer. So we had someone around to measure up and they'll give us a quote for that. So we're gonna get that done in the summer, which I'm really looking forward to. And now I'm home. So I'm gonna prepare dinner in a bit because Harry will be leaving work shortly. It's 20 to five, so he finishes about five, but he sometimes um, stays a little bit later to finish off some work. So I will um, start dinner when he's on his way home. And for now, I'm just gonna chill out. But this is my last week at work vlog, technically. So I'm gonna be weekly like vlogging for this week. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the journey. Um, obviously, probably not gonna be doing much like throughout the week. So yeah, welcome to a new vlog. I hope you're enjoying the regular uploads. Hopefully I can keep them up in the next few weeks. But yeah, I'm gonna chill out before I have to start dinner drink my raspberry leaf tea still really hot actually i'm not even gonna bother taking a sip of that um and yeah i hope you enjoy this vlog so harry has just told me he's leaving work so i'm gonna start preparing dinner so this part of the video is in collaboration with hello fresh i absolutely love hello fresh we've used it so many times in the past and i'm gonna show you what we are cooking tonight so these are the options that we've got. I've asked Harry what he fancies. He fancies curry and we've had this curry before and it is so nice. So we're going for the fragrant chicken coconut curry, which I'm quite pleased about because like I said, we've had it before and it is so yummy. We've also got steak for this week and a creamy chicken pasta bake which I love pasta and steak to be fair. We've had all of these and yeah, can highly recommend all of them. So basically I'm just gonna run through how HelloFresh works. So it's all online and basically you can select all of your meals. You can set up like a subscription service and you can pick and choose your meals for the week. And they basically, well, you have to remember to go on there and pick your meals. Otherwise, I think it may just send you random food options. So if you want to like pick what you want, then go onto the website, like onto your account and make sure you select your meals for the week. And then it will like automatically deliver it to your door. So it comes in a really big box. Obviously, I've got rid of the box now, but um, I'll show you what comes in the box because I've kept all the paper bags because it comes all nicely organized. So you get a big box that comes to your door. So that saves you going out to the shops. That's Harry ringing me. One sec. That's because I didn't answer his text. He called me to say he's leaving. So, um, yeah, so it saves you going out to the shops because it gets delivered to your doorstep. And what is in the box is basically these paper bags, which, sorry, excuse the fact that mine is soaked, is because it was at the back of the fridge. And uh, obviously the water from the fridge has just got to it but they're all labeled so on each recipe card you get numbers so on r1 this is seven that we're having today so i've grabbed bag seven out of the fridge and all your ingredients is inside that bag so everything is nicely organized and obviously on the recipe cards it tells you what you need anyway so even if you was to take it out of the bags you um you can go back and look at the recipe card and it tells you what you need. Also, I feel like if you're not very good at cooking, which Harry would say I'm not that great at cooking. I wouldn't say I'm that great either, to be fair, but I do find it so easy to follow these because on the back, 
it literally tells you step by step on how to cook things so i'll literally just follow this step by step and it will come out so nice whereas if i didn't follow this and i tried to make my own curry i'm telling you now it would not come out the same right so this is literally all the ingredients i need so they even give you the right amount of everything so there's no measuring there's no wastage food wastage because everything here i'm going to use and that is also really helpful as well because it saves time like measuring stuff is just just adds to the time so i know that i can just bung all of this into the pots and pans and whatnot and yeah it will all be the right amount so i'm gonna crack on with this and i'll show you the process as i'm going along and obviously the end result but oh my god i'm starving so i and also 25 to 30 minutes we love that Also, HelloFresh are giving me a discount code, which will get you guys 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months, which is definitely worth taking advantage of. I'll leave a little QR code on screen as well because you can scan that and that will automatically give you the discount. So yeah, definitely worth checking out that discount because that is really, really good. bit more awake now <laughs> i've just got to the station oh my god it's my last day and the weather is really crap it's literally drizzling um yesterday was really lovely sorry i'm just trying to find my vaseline because my lips are so dry right now um oh god don't want to drop that i won't be able to get it it's friday as well so happy friday even though you guys ain't gonna be watching this on a friday oh i am shattered but as i'm gonna keep saying i can't complain because it's my last day and yeah i'm really looking forward to it sadly i'm not working with the two people that I'm normally working with. So on my floor, we I work with the same two people all the time, but one of them is on a first aid course. So she's not actually gonna be with us today, but we had our last like, working day as a three on Tuesday. So that was nice, but yeah. So I'll just be with the one person. And then obviously there's like a whole team of us. That's how it works like, on reception, but. Yeah, anyway, um, this angle is awful because it really does show my fuller face because it's so down low. Um, I'm vlogging on my phone, by the way, because I forgot my camera. I ended up literally like running out the door because I just left, left it right to the last minute to leave. Like time just sometimes flies in the morning when I'm getting ready and I'm like, oh crap, I need to go. But um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd check in uh, because this morning clearly I was like, still half asleep so yeah i'm gonna head off to work and um i'll probably catch up with you guys this evening when i'm home guys i've just got home <sighs> i'm officially on maternity leave However, I am going to jump straight in the shower because I'm a hot, sweaty mess. My feet and ankles are so swollen. I'm hot. My hair needs washing. So...
so I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna literally strip off jump in the shower and get myself feeling all nice and fresh because I do not feel fresh right now so um I'll catch up with you guys in a bit my Adenola jumper came so I'm really excited to try that and I'll show you all the little gifts that I got from work but whew, I need to get in that shower so I've washed and blow dried my hair feels so much better already just having a raspberry leaf tea and I'm finally getting around to opening my Adenola jumper now is it going to be too big I did get it in an XL. Also, I don't know if I've spoken about this robe on a vlog yet or if I've just put it on Instagram stories. But basically, I popped into um, Peacocks with my mum the other day. We've got Peacocks in, in our town. I mean, I thought Peacocks was like so old school, like dead and gone. I didn't even know it still was around. Um, but anyway, we popped in there because mum wanted to go in there for something and oh my god, they've actually got some really decent bits in there and I went straight to like the pyjama and underwear section because I was like looking for bits to get for like my hospital bag and stuff and I came across the robes and this one caught my eye. It's like this velour sort of material and it's in this lovely kind of I'd say it definitely looks pinkier on the website, I think. But it's more of like a beigey nude with like a slight pink undertone. But oh my god, it's lovely. I'll link it below for you. And it was so affordable. I think it was like £24 or something. And yeah, I couldn't believe it. And they've actually got some like really nice um, like on-trend things in there as well. Like I thought they'd be like really kind of outdated, but... No, um, peacocks are actually pretty decent. Right, let me try this on. I, um, I'm going to try it on off camera because I haven't got a bra on and you guys do not want to see that. Okay, I think I love it. I mean, let's be honest, I'm 30, nearly 37 weeks pregnant and this is how it fits whilst I'm pregnant. So imagine the fit of it when I'm not pregnant. Obviously, it will be still super oversized, and that is just how I want it. So, yeah, I'm um, this is an XL, I think I said that earlier, but that's it, obviously, hanging. But if you was to ruch it up, and obviously, I won't have a bump, like, hopefully, well, let's just say in a month's time. But, um, well, no, tell a lie. I don't know how long it takes for your bump to go down. But anyway, I really like it. I think I'm, I'm happy with this, with this size, uh, with the XL, because like I said, I do really like it to be oversized. So, and the quality is really good as well. Quality is nice. And I mean, if it shrinks a little bit, I mean, I would definitely not be putting this in the tumble that is for sure because it probably will shrink but if after like a few washes or whatever you know sometimes things change in size at least it's not gonna go down to being super small because it's like super oversized but um yeah happy happy with that purchase i got some really lovely bits from my work colleagues which I'm so grateful for so like I said this morning there's two people that I work with like day in day out and they kindly got me a Pandora bracelet which is this and it's rose gold and um, my colleague got me a charm which says daughter i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this because you probably won't focus but it says daughter on the charm which is really really nice and then my manager actually got me i said that i wanted a um h initial to go on it and then i'm just gonna like add loads of charms to it that kind of that i that are things that i love so like 
I've never looked on Pandora, Pandora before and I've actually got some really cool charms. I'm gonna get like a coffee cup one because... We're in the spoon room shop. Eight, nine. So yeah, they do a coffee cup one. They do like an aeroplane, which is good for like travel. So I'm gonna get just everything that I love. And then my manager got me a charm that I wanted to get to go on it. Hint, hint of the um, initial. You show me that, I wonder. Hint, hint, it's a H. H, H and H. Mm -hmm. H Triple H. 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 So, uh, think, anyway. <laughs> you might look at her and think, shit. We're pretty <laughs> <laughs> I have to beat that. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oops. Um, Mom be it. <laughs> yeah, so my manager kindly got me the charm, which I'm really grateful for because that was the first charm that I wanted to buy. So I'm actually going to put it on now. And then um, I got some chockies from my other colleagues, which I've already tucked into. I've got all the good ones. So I left. Oh, shit. Well, there's still nice ones in there, but. Which one looks um, like? It's a menu, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said I'd leave some for Harry. So. Well, that's good. And then, um, yeah, the lovely lady in the kitchen that works on my floor, she got me some roses, which are over there in a vase, mm. which was really kind that's of really her. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So, I feel well and truly spoiled. Is it sunk in yet that you're going to be home for a year now? No. I was saying to. Um, well, do you reckon really. it'll be a whole year? Or as long as you can go. No, it's going to be... Um, like eight, nine months. There we go. I've just put it on. See how she ignores me. Sorry. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to multitask with you guys and Harry. Sorry, but did you see how you came in and butted in in our conversation? Actually, I think they will see that I come in and gave you a hug. Yeah, you did. But... Oh, do you like my jumper? Yeah, I was going to say, are you keeping it? Because yeah. you've got the tag in it. Yeah, so. I am. Let me try on. It's, an, like it's, it's an XL. It. Yeah, we're sharing that. I mean, I wear Harry's jumpers sometimes too. I like that oatmeal. Right, guys, oatmeal I'm going to cut here because, like I said, I've got Is that oatmeal? Brown. Is that oatmeal? No, it's grey. It looks oatmeal to you. Yeah, it's a women's jumper. It's hard still. Does it? Yeah. Fits perfectly, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Right, thanks. <laughs> Guys, we've just popped to B&M quickly and look what I've just found. Sorry, Galaxy is like my favourite chocolate. Yeah, Galaxy Digest... <laughs> Galaxy Digestive Milk Chocolate. Oh my god, I'm so having some of oh these when I get my home. God, guys, I found <laughs> Galaxy Duck. Sorry, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but they look pretty good. Good morning, everyone. So, we're actually spontaneously going off to. No, where are we going? Great Yama for the day. Because I look really pale in this light. Um, because Harry's parents are there for the weekend and they said that we can come down and see them for the day so we've got up, well we woke up quite early anyway, no alarms or anything but we was up at like half seven so we just got ready and yeah we're going to take a drive there it's about an hour and a half from where we live so it's not too bad and then just spend the day there I've just popped on because it's such a struggle to find an outfit that's comfortable at the minute so I've just popped on this um maxi dress from bump suit it's really really comfortable and it's like really thick and not see-through or anything like that because i'm a bit wary of wearing maxi dresses and how they kind of look when they're like stretched out but um this one is really really good quality and i've just popped on a leather jacket over the top some sunnies i did put my new balance trainers on but harry was like you're not going to want to wear them in the car because my feet are still so swollen so <laughs> you're gonna laugh at my uh, shoe option currently got socks and sandals on just for the car though and then i'll change into my trainers when we get there but um yeah anyway just thought i'd check in i'll bring you guys along for the day um and maybe capture snippets of what we get up to but yeah we're off on a little road trip <laughs>
Hello everyone, so it's the next day and I thought I would just close out this vlog because I kind of want to get it uploaded and um, edited and uploaded, sorry. And there's not really much more that I want to add to it because I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow because tomorrow's my first week of officially being on like maternity leave. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Today is Sunday and we've just got in from... Basically, I needed to return my annual season ticket, you know, like for my travel, which was a good feeling, I must admit, uh, giving that back and saying goodbye to it for a little while was was really good. Um, so I sorted that out and then because we had to drive about 25 minutes to do that, we stopped off at the town and because there's a really nice Italian in that town and we went and had some kind of like late lunch. It'll probably do us for the day to be fair because it's like four o'clock now. So yeah, um, we had some Italian, which was lovely. And yeah, we've just got back. So Harry's currently sorting out some bits in his office room. We did a bit of tidying up around the house this morning. So I'll probably just finish off doing bits and bobs and uh, I'm gonna edit this vlog and make sure it's ready for you guys to watch tomorrow, which will be Monday. We had a really good day yesterday. We was, obviously I captured a few little bits, but not, not, not loads. We went to Yama for the day, didn't we, to see Harry's parents, they were staying there for the weekend. So we didn't get home till quite late last night, but I was absolutely exhausted. Even though like we'd done like quite a bit of walking, but then also quite a lot of sitting. And I was just so achy by the time I got home. We got home about, half 10-ish so it was a really long day but it was nice it was nice to kind of get out and have a change of scenery and uh i will literally chat to you guys tomorrow because i'll be starting a new vlog and that'll be up some point next week i think i really need to get my ass in gear this week i've got a few appointments booked in but i'll discuss that in the next vlog anyway thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one